All right. How about a little something to try to make us all feel a little bit better? Um, I'm going to start this song, and then I want all of y'all to add to it, all the musicians out there, all the singers out there. Change the key. Take it up. Uh, yeah, let's see if I can do this. <clears throat> He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Tyler Perry has been trying to spread some positivity while everyone is self-isolating through his He's Got the Whole World challenge on Instagram. He's getting his celebrity friends to join him in singing this song as a means to inspire and as a prayer for the world. I'm not completely sure where Tyler is staying during this global quarantine, but last I heard he's still working on building his mega home in Atlanta, Georgia. In this video, we'll take a look at the mansions he's called home, his new record-breaking Tyler Perry studio complex, and much more. Tyler Perry is an actor, writer, producer, comedian, and and director. If you're not familiar with his work, you're seriously missing out. I personally think he's hilarious, and more serious films he creates are also some of my faves. Tyler is well known for creating and performing the Medea character. He started with stage plays, and many have been adapted as films since too. Although Tyler has experienced a ton of success over his career, he had to work hard to get where he is. Coming from a rough childhood, experiencing abuse both sexual and not from more than one adult, including his father, he had much to overcome. Despite these hardships, they led Tyler to his hobby of writing, which clearly was just the beginning. These days, Tyler remains the first African American star to have his own studios, Tyler Perry Studios, which he recently expanded in a huge way. It was already home to production of over 15 films and over 800 episodes of his five TV series, and now it spans over 330 acres. But we'll take a look very shortly. At the time of this recording, he's 50 years old and has a longtime partner slash girlfriend, Jalila Bikile, with whom he has a son. Considering Tyler has become a big part of today's film industry and accomplished so much, he's had an estimated net worth of $600 million as of 2020. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to be taking a look at Tyler Perry's real estate, including some of his mansions, his massive new Tyler Perry studios in Atlanta, Georgia, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post. You can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Oprah and Tom Hanks, and we'll have links to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love getting to know you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. First, we'll take a look at Tyler Perry Studios. In 2015, Tyler announced plans to expand his studio in Atlanta by acquiring Fort McPherson, which served as a Confederate army base during the American Civil War, and expand is exactly what he did. On his new sprawling 330-acre studio complex in Atlanta, Georgia, you can visit the White House, a classic southern mansion, a lake cabin, and more within minutes. Previously, Tyler's studio was already home to the production of more than 15 movies and over 800 episodes of his five TV shows. Now, his studio complex is said to be larger than Disney, Paramount, Sony, and Warner Studios combined. Tyler bought the massive lot for $30 million originally after outgrowing the smaller studio only six miles away. About $250 million went into restoring the site's 19th century homes and building the rest. Tyler Perry Studios has 12 state-of-the-art sound stages, each named after an African-American in the entertainment industry. So 12 sound stages. We're getting ready for our big grand opening celebration where we will be dedicating these sound on stages to a lot of people who have inspired and encouraged me over the years. So, so you got Halle Berry here and Denzel Washington and Whoopi Goldberg and Oprah. Production offices and sets. One of the most impressive being a three-story stucco replica of the White House, which Tyler made sure was built to scale. He's using it as a set for his BET drama, The Oval, so you already know there's even an Oval Office film set inside. There are many other impressive sets on the huge complex, like a charming historic residential district from the cell, trailer park, county jail, bank, 
Lakeside Cabin, Posh Theater, Farmhouse Chapel, Commercial Jet, and much more. These will act as the scenes for Tyler's future films and other production companies. The Walking Dead has already filmed several seasons here too. Tyler Perry Studios also has 200 extra acres of green space and Tyler says he's not even close to being finished. He said he wants to put that land to use. He said, I'm looking into creating a six lane highway. Or he might want to add a European style city adding. You know, something with winding cobblestone streets. We could use it for Paris. Aside from how impressive Tyler's studio complex is, also welcomes more than 400 job opportunities to the community of Atlanta across productions as well as for other film and TV shows. So now that we've seen Tyler's crazy studios, where does he call home? Apparently he's still having the mega estate built and it's been in the works for three years now. TMZ reported that Tyler had been designing a massive mansion in Atlanta, Georgia, close to Tyler Perry Studios. Reports say that his mansion will span 35,000 square feet of living space and it sits on 1,200 acres of land. We know that Tyler likes doing everything on a big scale, but that's still crazy. Although we don't know what the place will look like yet, he has plans to turn the property into an organic farm. He wants his son to have an appreciation appreciation for land, nature, and animals, which I think is super sweet. He said he'll have horses and other animals on the farm. Back in 2007, Tyler bought a 17-acre estate in the Paces neighborhood of Buckhead, Atlanta. Paces is said to be the most affluent area in Atlanta, with home prices even reaching upwards of $21 million. Tyler lived in this palace with his family up until 2016, and when he sold it for a massive $17.5 million, it was the biggest sale ever for a private residence in the Georgia capital at the time. The mansion was resold in 2018, this time for over 21 million. But let's take a look. Tyler's previous Atlanta estate was 34,688 square feet of living space, but surprise, surprise, the new home in the works is going to be just slightly bigger. It had seven beds and 14 bathrooms and was designed as a European style villa with marble flooring and huge columns. Upon entering the home, the foyer has a grand dual staircase with giant chandelier in the middle and looks like something from a fairy tale. There's a great room or a formal living room which has double height ceilings and glass doors leading out to a balcony. Can Attached to the chef's kitchen, there's also a more casual living room with vaulted ceilings, a marble fireplace, and open staircase leading to the upper level. The formal dining room in Tyler's previous home walks out to the upper balcony and is decorated with wall paintings. There's also a wood paneled study or library and another dramatic library slash office with a black chandelier, red accents, and a zebra rug, which has to be my favorite room of all. On this floor, there's also a games room with a wet bar. The master suite is spacious and has a private balcony entrance offering views from all angles. One of the extra bedrooms used to be a spa, so it has a freestanding tub in the middle. The vintage paint job here makes the room feel medieval, and I personally like it. There's also a medieval feel in the mansion's home movie theater, where vaulted ceilings here and in the attached lounge resemble an old cathedral. The theater has seating for 18 and is located on the lower level of the house. Apparently, there's also a resistance pool on this level. Some other features of the mansion include a wine cellar, sauna, a generator system that can power the whole estate, and a guardhouse. At the back of Tyler's previous mansion, you'll find some guest quarters and layered landscaping in the backyard. Underneath the tennis courts, there's an indoor ballroom complete with catering kitchen and restroom. Also on the property, there's a massive 70,000 gallon infinity pool, which is unlike any I've seen. Two gated entrances and an advanced security system are in place to protect the property too. Tyler's previous mansion was more like a palace than a home, and I must say it would be hard to top. I guess we can only imagine what his new estate is gonna look like. Wikipedia also reports that Tyler owns an estate in Beverly Hills, but he actually put it on the market back in 2018 after owning it less than a year. This modern mansion was located in the gated Mulholland Estates, which is a neighborhood that celebs seem to love. Tyler listed it for just under 17 million, which is about 2.5 mil more than he originally paid the previous summer. The custom home sat on over four acres of land, and inside the mansion spans 17,254 square feet of living space spread over three floors. The home had 10 beds and 11 baths and showcased dramatic glass walls with steel beams. Interiors of the modern home had angular sloping ceilings and marble stairs. There was plenty of natural light thanks to pyramid shaped skylights and the open concept living room had perfect views of the canyon. Tyler's previous LA mansion was built in 1992 and other features included a resort style pool with a slide and grotto, koi pond, sports courts, multiple terraces and motor court with room for 30 cars. So now we've seen Tyler Perry's previous mansion in Atlanta that he called home for many years as well as looked at the place 
plans for his new mega estate that's in the works. Although he sold the homes in LA and his palace in Atlanta, we have to assume the home he's building is going to top these spots too. I mean, it's going to be 35,000 square feet. Not to mention we saw the new 330 acre Tyler Perry Studios, which he's pretty proud of and has every reason to be. They have it all, from a White House replica to full suburbs and everything in between. What did you guys think? We also know that Tyler has vacation homes, apparently one in Wyoming and another property in the Bahamas. He said his place in Wyoming is a cabin that's in the snow and mountains, and he likes it because there's nothing around and it's free. Your whole mind is free. I can be with God. You said too that you like to go to Wyoming. To yeah, to write, yeah. Why Wyoming? You and Kanye are the only two people I've heard, black people, I've heard yeah. say they go to Wyoming. Yeah, I've, well, I've been going a long time. I've been going for about uh, 15 years now, and it's just, it's, I, I, I have a place there, it's a cabin. It's in the snow, it's in the mountains, there's nothing around, and it's free. It's, mm -hmm. you're free, just your whole mind is free. And I'm up on a mountain, it's, I commune with God, it's, it's beautiful. So Tyler clearly has options, but I'm not sure where him and his family are staying during this global quarantine. Do you guys know? Okay guys, now I'll read out a couple comments from previous vids. On our recent Bill Gates house tour, Ethan Barry wrote, I love these videos and they always inspire me. Keep up the amazing work. Is it possible for a Chris Evans house tour, please? Thanks so much, Ethan, and I can definitely add him to my list. I'd love to. And on our Christina Aguilera house tour, JP said, I love Extina's taste too. So sophisticated and elegant. Thanks, JP. Agreed. All right, guys, that's all I could find on Tyler Perry's homes and his plans for his current mansion. But we did get to see the new Tyler Perry Studios, the mega mansion in Atlanta he used to live in, and more. What did you guys think of his properties? I think what he's doing with the film studios is super inspiring and impressive and the decor in his previous mansion was gorgeous. I love the vintage style. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what his new estate and farm is going to look like. Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!